Hi, I'm Tom Fletcher, author of the Dinosaur That Pooped books, and I'm here today to read the wormy spaghetti chapter from Roald Dahl's The Twits. The wormy spaghetti. The next day, to pay Mr. Twit back for the frog trick, Mrs. Twit sneaked out into the garden and dug up some worms. She chose the big, long ones and put them in a tin and carried the tin back to the house under her apron. At one o'clock, she cooked spaghetti for lunch and she mixed the worms in with the spaghetti, but only on her husband's plate. The worms didn't show because everything was covered with tomato sauce and sprinkled with cheese. Hey, my spaghetti's moving, cried Mr. Twit, poking around in it with his fork. It's a new kind, Mrs. Twit said taking a mouthful from her own plate, which of course had no worms. It's called squiggly spaghetti. It's delicious. Eat it up while it's nice and hot. Mr. Twit started eating, twisting the long tomato covered strings around in his fork and shoveling them into his mouth. Soon there was tomato sauce all over his hairy chin. Well, it's not as good as the ordinary kind, he said, talking with his mouthful. It's too squishy. I find it very tasty, Mrs. Twit said. She was watching him from the other end of the table. It gave her great pleasure watching him eat worms. I find it rather bitter, Mr. Twit said. It's got a distinctly bitter flavour. Buy the other kind next time. Mrs. Twit waited until Mr. Twit had eaten a whole plateful. Then she said, You want to know why your spaghetti was all squishy? and why it had a nasty, bitter taste. Why? Because it was worms. 